As part of efforts to address the effects of climate change, including flooding and desertification that threatened both the people and agricultural productivity in Jigao State, the state government is partnering the House Committee on Ecological Fund to enhance climate resilience and adaptation strategies. The report. The collaboration between Jigao State and the National Assembly, represented by the House Committee on Ecological Fund under the leadership of Honorable Aminu Sani Jaji, will provide Jiga with access to vital resources to tackle its ecological challenges. The state has long been affected by climate change-related issues such as flash flooding, desertification, and gully erosion, all of which hinder economic progress. Not only because the Jigawa is located uh, among the Sahel states, but because of the challenges that are encountered in Jigawa state, and the passion that we have in addressing such ecological challenges and some other biodiversity ecosystem that uh, need to be addressed. But we look at so many measures and indicators that made it to be possible during our an analysis and assessment that where and which state that we are going to visit in order to mitigate some of these challenges. So, this is the impact of flood in Jigao State. As of today, out of the 14 local governments, the government was able to reach about nine local governments with special aids, assistant, relief materials, medical assistance, and the committee are still working. I'm sure by end of today or tomorrow, all the 14 local governments will be reached and will be assisted with the relief material, the settlement, food, uh, mosquito net, beddings, and also medication, and also water and temporary latrines. During the committee's visit to Jiga, they assessed some of the worst affected areas to understand the extent of the damage to both residential areas and farmland. The committee has pledged its full support to help Jiga state overcome this pressing ecological challenges.